Hello, hello, hello. It's Dolly. I'm back with Multiphoto Monday with Becky, Miranda, Caitlin, and myself. And this month's challenge came from Caitlin called Spring Clean Challenge. So basically, we're to finish something off in our stash. So let's say we have a half a pack of enamel dots or half a pack of die cuts. And I chose these die cuts called Pretty Little Studio. I think it's called the Dream Collection. And then I decided since I was using this die cut pack that I would get out some of my eight by eight papers from Pretty Little Studios. And so here I'm showing you that I took out three eight by eights. And so this one here, the like um, vellum type one is called Maybe Baby. And then that one is Hello, Hello, which is a fall collection. And then you and me with the plus signs. And then my main background paper, my base paper is gonna be from Pink Fresh Studio, the blog collection. All right, so I'm gonna use this striped one that I did forget the name. I don't have the branding strip. What was that one called? I'm not sure what that one was called, the striped one. I don't have the, you'd have to stop the video and look at the close up. So I'm gonna use that one as kind of my matting for my photographs. And yes, these photographs are dark. And just to give you a little bit of background why I'm layering up these blocks of paper is in our camper, if you're familiar with campers, most all of them, the bedding will lift up. They'll have like a, a hinge. I call it like a soft hinge. They're really easy to come up. Your bed lays on it and you have underneath storage. Well, there was some screws that came through the wood and was ripping our mattress. So I was like making the bed and I heard a rip and that's what it was. So anyway, my husband, Mr. Handyman, decides to crawl down underneath there and fix it. Well, he's 6'3", and that space is probably only, the width of it is probably only four feet, maybe four and a half feet. So he squishes his six foot three body in there, and the only way to get in there and get out is he's basically curled up like in a fetal position and rolls himself in there and then rolls himself out. And I know the photographs are dark, but I was taken from my phone and that's the best I could do. And I wanted to document this because it was just so funny. And normally my title is last on my page, but this time I put my title first. I wanted it to be kind of the focal point and my title's gonna be the handyman role. So that's my title. And I am using those black stickers are from Pink Fresh Studio and they came out with the blog collection. So that's what I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna get out these gold alpha and they're called Hazel. I don't remember what collection they came out in the, um, those thickers but they are American crafts. So that's what I'm gonna use for the word roll because it's a curse save. And of course, I'm just tying it all in together. And then you're gonna see my original, the, I used the pink Paisley little foam alphas that came out with the Arben Lane collection and one side is gold and the other side is like a rose gold. But I'm gonna switch that those out and use letters that I've had a very, very long time in my stash that are silver. And the reason why I did that is because the camera that's in that pretty little studio pack the middle part has silver. I did say gold. So the Tim Holtz letters are silver and that has gold. All right, so now you just see me trying to figure out all my clusters and how I'm gonna layer them up.
All right, so over to the right, in that pack, I wonder what the name of that is. I wanna tell you real quick, this is going by. It was a really simple, easy layout. I'm trying to think of, well, I don't have it. So anyway, it's that's like a subtitle. It says, love this, and then I have, I'm have i gonna put a little, um, right there, fun next to it. Then there's the circle I'm gonna layer up. I thought I was gonna put the ampersand sign there, but I move it and layer it up where you see the heart and the camera in the upper left-hand corner. I took that strip that I cut off on the main background of my photos. That's from Pretty Little Studio. So every one of those blocks are from Pretty Little Studio. The vellum piece, the word that says fall, the white with the striped and then you saw that you just barely have peeking out that dark blue with the cross with it had little x's on it and now i decided that i wanted to um, have dimension on my page so i put um, foam dots or foam squares behind the camera so it pops off the page along with, I did the same thing where it says love this. And then I cut like a tab. I only took the top part of that tab and I cut that. So here comes those Tim Holtz silver, almost like a metal, you know, metal look. I think that's why he got it out. It's for more masculine pages and it just works out perfect. Anyway, I accomplished my task. I used every die cut in that pack on this layout. Then I decided I needed a little something else and I bought some sequins a while back um, from Spiegel, Spiegel Scrap Mom. Is that what it's called? Let me tell you for sure. Yes, yeah, Spiegel Mom Scraps. And these ones are called hex of frost and you see i just kind of sprinkled them on there and i only readjusted once and that's exactly where they glued down please make sure you follow the other ladies links listed below and go see what they created i'm excited too i haven't seen what they created so i'm going to hop over there and see what they created and here comes the still shot shots now make sure you subscribe hit the bell button Give me thumbs up, leave me comments, and share our channel. We're here to inspire everybody, your friends, your family members, your co-workers. So please keep coming back. We're posting all the time, or at least I'm posting all the time. All of us are posting all the time. All right, thanks. I appreciate you all, and thanks for stopping by. Bye.